Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay, so what I feel is somebody um, feels like the other person took advantage of them. They are questioning the whole relationship, the person, uh, their intentions. They feel like, um, they feel disillusioned. They feel like this person uh, played them, took advantage of them. And they're just, they're trying to understand this. They can't seem to, uh, to find their answers here. I feel like somebody could be imagining the worst possible scenario uh, about why something happened or about what could happen. This is somebody who's very focused on a past experience, some, an experience that caused their heart to bleed, that you know, just wrenched at their heart. It just tore it in two. Whatever wounded them still bleeds a lot. It hurts a lot. And it's like they're unable to uh, gain any ground uh, when it comes to getting these answers. Um, they may feel like, oh, uh, maybe they didn't think something through or that maybe um, somebody, uh, maybe this person was bad for them um, or that, oh God, you know, I just jumped from one bad relationship to another. That could be crossing their mind uh, with the devil being here. <clears throat> and so it could feel like for this person like uh, it's a pattern it's like they're constantly giving their heart only to have it broken so I feel like they're very feeling very down um, they're struggling with uh, the with this person or with the they're struggling with the news that uh, or with the information that they have um, they're looking at the details of it uh, and um, they're struggling with the fact that somebody or that this particular person has taken advantage of them and it feels like uh, again but like not by this person but it feels like a relationship that uh, or the kind of a relationship that keeps repeating. So it feels like they've had bad experiences before and now they feel like it's bad again, like they jumped in without thinking, you know. Just go from one bad relationship to another. This is what's in their mind, but they're very down, very low uh, with this Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords being present here twice. They're dealing with a lot of inner demons. It looks like um, it looks like they're going to get news from this person. That this person sends them a message or a lot of messages. They may not respond to them all or any uh, because they're hurting, but the person. Uh, whom they are upset at is trying to reach them, sending them a lot of messages, wanting to try to work this out with them, okay? And so they are looking at the details of doing that, um, but they are hurting, okay? So they're looking at a decision to give this person another opportunity, but... Um, 
they feel like whatever this person was, you know, told them in these messages, that it was like rehearsed or something. So they're not quite trusting. They're imagining the worst. That's what the dice are saying, and that's what the, the cards are saying. And it's because of deep emotional scars. It's because of their inner demons. They wonder if they could bring this back to life, if there could be hope. Um, there could have been a, a discussion about this that may have uh, also ended badly because this person is focusing on the past. You know, I because I feel like one person wants to fix it, the other one's very focused on on what happened. Their heart is still bleeding, and they feel like the person is just trying to take advantage of them again. Like like their lines are rehearsed. You know. And so they're having difficulty, they're struggling uh, because of the bleeding heart. Uh, they struggle to, uh, uh, to give this forgiveness the other person is asking for. So the Ten of Swords is here. Um, and although this situation looks bad, looks very dark, um, there is a solution or there could be a positive solution for this relationship if somebody were to look back at um, their past uh, experiences because um, what keeps them feeling uh, like the Ten of Swords is there in their past, you know. This is a feeling of feeling like like it's over, you know, um, but it's not, or it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to end uh, this way, or it doesn't have to end at all. It's got to do with uh, past wounds and uh, how those wounds um, that they carry um, that, the, that have never healed, how those wounds are directing their thoughts, you know. Because this talks to a, a deep wound from some time ago because the swords are no longer in it, but the heart still bleeds from it. And so because of the deeper wound, not the most current one, but the deeper one, I feel, uh, they struggle with forgiveness. So this person has been, uh, has had like a really bad experience in the past. And especially they keep telling me, I keep getting that, oh, I just keep jumping from one bad relationship to the next. But this one doesn't have to end this way. There can be a positive solution, but you have to change the way you think for whoever's uh, tied up in those ten swords. Who, whoever has the bleeding heart here. You need to realize that how you think, how you react, how you solve your problems. See, Mercury is here. Uh, is coming from the wound. It's how you're thinking and and you control your thoughts. So you can change them. This is a changeable situation. It's how you're perceiving something based on past uh, 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 love experiences or experiences you've had in love. You have the love card in reverse. So this could be a previous broken promise or that you know, uh, the relationships you did have, uh, maybe they always broke their promise. You know, this is what you're thinking. You're thinking that you've been burned and that this person has broken a promise. I feel like... Uh, the relationship, you see the relationship as being troubled or 
bad in some way or unhealthy in some way but uh, this is how you see it and I feel like you are actually thinking of turning down this offer but I feel like something happens that makes you change your mind something um, some information comes unexpectedly or you unexpectedly see something or get some type of breakthrough um, you could even be shown away the hand of the divine because the star is here so you could be given a sign that makes you suddenly realize or see something that will change your view how you see this or actually make you change your mind about uh, turning down this offer we see here ace of rods it's a, like a door that reopens on the past so that's this offer um, that brings back hope there's some sign that is given to you um, you're looking at it you're studying this new opportunity um, I feel like with this card the finger is pointing it's like the blame it could be that uh, somebody was blaming the other for something when there's this realization of where it actually truly really came from and it came from the ten of coins which is here twice there's a realization that uh, this goes back to some type of long-held belief that they were carrying because of a deeper injury to the heart it's what was causing all of the chaos you see so now can we make order out of the chaos um, and take this decision for the future you see there's the offer you were going to turn down you or them but then there's a sudden change of mind there's like intervention you see there's the angel there look at that so there's like this intervention of the hand of the divine who's going to give them the sign and show them the way and show them the true path show them the truth that will allow them to heal the star is also about healing there's your angel who uh, comes in to stir up this it's like messages from the divine that will change the energy current mm -hmm. and so that's what I have for you so what I feel is now like I said this is either your energy or theirs and let me tell you that um, for the one who feels that this person didn't love them didn't you know was taking advantage of them that's totally untrue and there's the proof ace of cups they do love you and and so there is this awareness I feel like you are or were up to that point to the point of this uh, enlightenment you were actually thinking of turning this offer down but there's a change of mind uh, and a change uh, of your view of things which results in this beautiful new beginning it, and it was what was promised here you know in this uh, in this ten of swords the ending of a very painful period 
has to do with um, this deep wound. Something that has been causing a lot of chaos in your life. And it's something you were carrying for a long time. This card says that if you if you look back, um, you will see. If you look back, you will recognize uh, the mistakes. You will recognize where all those swords were coming from. And then the sky clears up and the sun comes out. That's what will happen, you know. Once this person does this, you or them. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.